Stephen Howard here with UNT TV with the ribbon cutting of the new residence hall. I'm here with Elizabeth, who is a junior, and you're an RA here. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of smart here. I, I hear you're a presidential scholar recipient, so congratulations Thank on that. Um, so why did you choose to live on the UNT Dallas campus? Um, well, the opportunity of a resident assistant presented itself, and I thought, why not? Um, it's going to be new, new res hall, a whole new experience, and I just really wanted to be at the forefront of helping develop new students, helping their leadership skills develop, and just seeing how they'll flourish onto our campus. So what is this residence hall going to mean for the student life and, and the student experience for everyone here at UNT Dallas? Well, I'm hoping that it's just for the better, obviously. Um, just more activities during the day, longer um, activity times because there's going to be people here 24-7, um, just more things um, available for the students and just it's just going to build like a whole new atmosphere and I just can't wait for that. All right, so your parents aren't watching. How is your room here going to differ from your room at home? <laughs> well, I would say I'm pretty clean, I'm pretty organized, but um, definitely have to keep on top of my things, you know, I'll have to do my own laundry like regularly so it's gonna be a little bit of a change but it's gonna be good so everybody's had a resident advisor are you gonna be the cool RA <laughs> the stickler RA like you know what kind of vibe are we gonna have from you I'm gonna be the cool RA but when the law needs to be laid down it will be okay. most definitely we do need to have those boundaries I know yes. I do particularly when it comes to food and donuts <laughs> don't give me any of those all right well thanks a lot here with Elizabeth and um, We'll be back shortly. Thank you. Great right, job today, you. Elizabeth. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you. I'm here with President Mung for the ribbon cutting of the new residence hall. So how would this uh, new residence hall change um, and affect UNT Dallas campus? Well, I think first and foremost, it's a state of mind change. We're regarded mostly as a commuter college. And uh, nothing wrong with that, but uh, we like to offer students a choice and having a place uh, to stay 24-7 if they want. Uh, it's really the first step in that direction. Uh, I think if you look at UTD and SMU uh, <coughs> and UNT and Denton, the, the creation and, and expansion of residence life really was transformational to those universities. And we believe it will be transformational here. Now, everybody in Dallas has, has been a big fan of the rain and the cooler weather during the summer, but you might not be a big fan of that because of the construction here and how it's hampered. How, how has it affected uh, the, the finishing touches on this new residence hall? It's true. There's been a lot of rain, and, and it really affected the pouring of the concrete. So, but, you know, I, I take a long view on it, and a few days here and there, we'll, we'll get through it just fine. So you've been with this uh, institution um, and it, it's kind of like your your baby you know now you have this new residence hall what does this mean for kind of that vision for UNT Dallas well you know we we were put here to serve a uh, under-resourced community uh, and that's really our mission that's what gets us up in the morning uh, uh, we want to get more students in in uh, urban Dallas and the urban uh, inner ring suburbs and the Dallas County Community College to go and get a four-year degree and either get good jobs or uh, go into graduate school or professional school and that's starting to happen. Uh, so some of you know Jaime Resendez, the uh, uh, school board member, uh, he went here. He went from here to UT Austin Law School and now he's a practicing attorney and serving the community on the school board. That's what it's all about from my uh, uh, perspective. Uh, we just want to produce a lot more young people like that who are uh, future leaders. So did you live in a dorm? I did indeed. <laughs> so, so how does this dorm differ? Like, what was your dorm life like? My, my dorm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm fairly uh, mature. So my dorm was in the days when you, it was uh, uh, Spartan, to say the least. You had a bed, you had a desk, and the bathroom was at the end of the hall. <laughs> so this is much nicer. All right. Much well, nicer. Well, well, thanks a lot. We appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, Steve. All right, thank you. Yeah, good. Hello. Very, very well organized. Uh, we're going to look for D. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were nimble. We were yeah. nimble. <laughs> Jared, who else are we going to get? Uh, I think we were looking for D, or we can walk around the hall. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a picture with her real quick. Oh, yeah. Jared, what's up?
What's up, Horn Frogs? So how you doing, Stephen Howard with UNT TV? Uh, what's your name? D. Goins. Okay, now what, what what do you do with the, the university? So I'm the director of housing and residence life. Okay, so so you're the person we need to come to. Oh. When, you know, our king size is, is now a double. Basically, basically, so but there's no king size. But before you right. get to that point, I'm gonna say, did you look online and see that you should have that king size in there? Oh yeah, yeah. well you know sometimes mistakes happen. So that's very true. What is this new residence hall? what it mean for students and, and student life here at UNT Dallas? So it means total transformation. It means living in a place which you're going to be going to school. Uh, it means new friends, new network, new social opportunities. It means working on campus and being only uh, two flights of steps down to your job. Uh, it, it means a lot for the university. It speaks to the university's growth. Uh, it's, just, it's just, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So what kind of like icebreakers are you going to have for the students to kind of, you know, because I know you want it to be a community, everyone Absolutely. to you know, know everybody, have fun. Absolutely. You got some fun stuff in store? So the RAs, we have four RAs in the building. They'll be responsible for programming, so it's really up to them and what their community needs are. We can say do this, but if the community doesn't respond, then it's a wasted cost. So the RAs will be really the ones who are planning those programs, but we want to get people out of their, out of their comfort zone a little bit, shake it up. Uh, get people out of their rooms. So we got a lot of a common area space here that we want them to use. Everybody's in the same boat. It's new for everybody. And so get out. One of our RAs right here. Uh, so, you know, it, it'll, be, it'll be up to the community on what they really want to see. All right, I need you to give me your best roommate story for, from dorm life, from, from back when you were uh, in school. Let me see. Best roommate story. I think it was Halloween uh, 2003. I had the nerdiest palest dude as a roommate, super, super opposite. Um, uh, he looked like the dad off of um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I forgot that guy's name, but that's who he looked like. He looked the dad off that. We were roommates Halloween. I walked in my closet. I see my clothes were gone. He was me for Halloween. It's back when I had hair. I had the wave caps. I had the Debo slippers on, the jeans, and the, nice. the, the white t-shirt tank top. Um, and so for him to be me for Halloween, I think that was one of the most memorable experiences of having a roommate. But here we got a lot of singles too, so folks won't have, not everybody will have a roommate, so that's good. Um, but that's what it's about, creating those memories that you'll remember 10 years, 15, 20 years later, and always being able to go back to that. All right, good stuff. Well, I will be back here for Halloween because I, I feel like it's going to be a nice oh, yeah, be a experience time. out here. All right, good thanks time. a lot. Appreciate you. All right, well, we're signing off here, UNT TV. Tune in next time.